How accurate is your 3D printer? Well, I've asked this question in the past and today we're unveiling the new way to test it. Let's get started. How's it going guys? Angus here from Makers Muse. So in the past on this channel, I've produced many, many challenging 3D printing files and one of them was this, the tolerance gauge test. This has been downloaded over 10,000 times and printed by many people all around the world as a way to test the accuracy of their 3D printer. But before I proceed, I need to clarify the difference between tolerance and clearance because a few people got a little bit upset in my previous videos. So tolerance is not a single number, it's a range in which there was a measurement that is acceptable. You have a minimum and a maximum. However, clearance is a distance you specifically design at the 3D modeling stage and it's a set number. The thing is though, this gauge tested both because it has a clearance, but also it tests tolerance because you can figure out what clearance works in your software and what tolerances are to be expected when you actually go to print the file on your 3D printer. However, it did have a few issues. The key sucked and I understand it uh, didn't work all the time on some machines and it was a little bit hard to free the parts up. So I went back to the drawing board and spent the last few weeks working on a new version. As always on Makers Muse, I started off with a sketch and I figured out that it had to be toolless. It had to not need any tools except if you had something that was really stuck so it doesn't have a key this time. Let me introduce to you the Tolerance Gauge Mark II here on Makers Muse. So this file is devious. It has five gaps, including a center one, starting at 0.5 millimeters going down to 0.15. Now it's a little bit easier than the previous one. It had a 0.05 with the previous test. That was a little bit extreme. This goes down to 0.15, which in my experience and, and, uh, and uh, opinion, if you can get 0.15 millimeter clearances on your FDM 3D printer, you're doing a pretty good job. And this file is designed to be toolless. So as you can see, it has these little claws on the side and as you open them up, it reveals unlocked. And that proves to people that you've unlocked that part and you can actually achieve those tolerances. So you can do it all the way from 0.5 all the way down to 0.15 if you're lucky enough. Now, if the parts are stuck, for example, here I have one printed on the Cetus 3D and the 0.15, it looks like it could be free, but it's stuck. You are allowed to use a tool. Uh, you need to grab a flathead screwdriver, just pop it in under that claw and lever it like so. So if it doesn't break the tab off, you should be able to free it up and prove that you can get that tolerance. But keep in mind, this file is not really so much about a boast, but more to test what you can put into your design. So for example, knowing that 0.15 was fused, I might not design 0.15 millimeter clearances in my designs. However, 0.2 is a lot more free. So if I'm designing parts, I know that 0.2 can be achieved on my Cetus 3D printer. Also did test a few other machines, including the Prusa Mark III, full review for this machine coming soon, but this achieved a complete clearance as well, all the way down to 0.15, although that was a little bit stuck as well, I did have to free it up. And yes, it does operate like a fidget spinner again, with a 0.4 millimeter clearance in the middle. Last one to test was the JG Aurora A5. This one has a bit of under extrusion, unfortunately, but again, it is completely free down to 0.2 and 0.15 is unfortunately not. Let's see if we can free this up. I don't think we will be able to. Let's give it a go. Oh, there we go, okay. So 0.15 is free as well. Uh, keep in mind guys that your bed level has to be very accurate. Make sure your bed level is as perfect as you can get it before testing this file. There is some allowances in the design with a bit of gap that's wider at the bottom. It does tighten up to the tolerance as it goes up. But if you have too much of a, what's called an elephant foot, your first layers are too close you will definitely struggle to achieve tolerances. So this is the first of several files here on Makers Muse designed to test your 3D printer. And you can find the purchase link here or in the video description. It does cost a little bit of money that goes back into supporting independent 3D printing content here on YouTube. But if you can't afford it, I've decided to make the original tolerance test with a new easier to use key completely free. So there you go. If you can't afford the new one, grab the old one. It still does a good job and I look forward to seeing your results. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this video here on Makers Muse and I'll see you very shortly. Happy printing, bye.